All right. I'm just going to have to I have to improvise right here. Adapt and overcome. Marine Corps style. My phone stopped again recording. It's never done this before. So, you know what? I got my laptop recording from my laptop. I'm going to upload from my laptop because I wrote in my contract. I wrote I will get this done for my spiritual boot camp. What I'm doing now, I will do this by any means necessary. I'll find a way. So thankful that I have my computer. So think about got about like 18, 21 minutes. Verse five, the uh, chapter, two, First Chronicles chapter two, verse five. This is part three segment. Uh, the sons of Perez, Hezron and Hamul, the sons of Zerah, Zimri, Ethan, Heman. Kakol and Darda, five and all. The son of Carmi, Achar, who brought trouble on Israel by violating the ban on taking devoted things. The son of Ethan, Azariah, the sons of bo the sons born to Hezron were Jerahamil, Ram, and Caleb. From Ram, son of Hezron, verse 10, Ram was the father of Aminadab and Aminadab, the father of Nashon, the leader of the people of Judah. Nashon was the father of Simon. Simon, the father of Boaz. Boaz, the father of Obed, and Obed, the father of Jesse. Jesse was the father of Eliab, his firstborn. The second son was Abinadab, the third, Shemiah, the fourth, Nathaniel, the fifth, Radai, this, this, verse 15, the sixth, Ozem, and the seventh, David. Their sisters were Zeruiah and Abigail. Zeruiah's three sons were Abishai, Joab, and Asheel. Abigail was the mother of Amash, or Amasa, whose father was Jether, the Ishmaelite. Caleb, son of Hezron. Caleb, verse 18. Caleb, son of Hezron, had children by his wife, Azuba, parentheses, and by Jeroth, parentheses. These were his sons, Jeshur, Shobab and Arden. When Azuba died, Caleb married Ephrath, who bore him Hor. Verse 20, Hor was the father of Uri, and Uri the father of Abezzael. Later, Hezron, when he was 60 years old, married the daughter of Machir, the father of Gilead. He made love to her, and she bore him Sigub. Sigub was the father of Jair, who controlled 23 towns in Gilead, parentheses, but Jeshur and Aram captured Havath Jair as well as Kanath with its surrounding settlements, 60 towns, close parentheses. All these were descendants of Makur, the father of Gilead. After Hezron died and Caleb Ephrata, Abijah, the wife of Hezron, bore him Ash Ashur, the father of Tekoa. Jeheramil, son of Hezron, verse 25, the sons of Jeheramil, the firstborn of Hezron, Ram, his firstborn, Buna, Oren, Ozam, and Ahijah. Jeremiah had another wife whose name was Atara. She was the mother of Onan. The sons of Ram, the firstborn of Jeramil, Maaz, Jamin, Eker, the sons of Anam, Shammai, and Jada. The sons of Shammai, Nadab, and Abishur. Abishur's wife was named Abihel, who bore him Aban. And Molid. Verse 30. The sons of Nadab, Selid and Apaim. Selid died without children. The sons of Apaim, Ishi, who was the father of Shishan. Shishan was the father of Ahalai. The sons of Jada, Shemai's brother, Jether and Jonathan. Jether died without children. The sons of Jonathan, Beleth and Zara. These were the descendants of Jeremiah. Shisham had no sons, only daughters. He had an Egyptian servant named Jarha. Verse 35. Shishan gave his daughter in marriage to his servant Jarha, and she bore him Atai. Atai was the father of Nathan, Nathan the father of Zabad, Zabad the father of Ephla, Ephla the father of Obed, Obed the father of Jehu, Jehu the father of Azar Azariah, Azariah the father of Helez, Helez the father of Elish, or Eli Ashsa, Elisha, the father of Sismai, Sismai, the father of Shalom, Shalom, the father of Jechamiah, and Jechamiah, the father of Elishama. The clans of Caleb, verse 42. The sons of Caleb, the brother of Jeremiel, Mesha, his firstborn, who was the father of Ziph, and his son 
Marisha, oh, it kind of sounds like Marisha, who was the father of, of Hebron. The sons of Hebron, Korah, Tapua, Rechem, and Shema. Shema was the father of Raham, and Raham the father of Jorkim. Rechem was the father of Shemai, the son of Shemai was Maon, and Maon was the father of Beth Zor. Verse 46. Caleb's concubine Epha was the mother of Haran, Moza, and Gaziz. Haran was the father of Gaziz, the sons of Jahadai. Rajim, Jotham, Geshan, Belet, Epha, and Shaph. Caleb's concubine Makah was the mother of Shepur, Shepur and Terhana. She also gave birth to Shap, the father of Madmana, and to Shiva, the father of Magbana and Gibeah. Caleb's daughter's or daughter was Aksa. Verse 50. These were the descendants of Caleb. The sons of her, the firstborn, of Ephratha, Shobal, the father of Kirath, Jerim, Salma, the father of Bethlehem, and Haraf, the father of Beth Geder. The descendants of Shobal, the father of Kiriath, Jerim, were Heroi, half the, Ma the Manahathites, and the clan of Kirath, Jerim, the Ithrites, Puthites, Shemathites, and Meshurites. From these descended the Zerothites and Ishtetholites, the descendants of Salma, Bethlehem, the Netophahalites, at Roth, Beth, Joab, half the Mahathites, the Zorites, verse 55, and the clans of scribes who lived in or lived at Jabez, the Terathites, Shemiathites, and Sukkotites. These were the Kenites who came from Hamath, the father of, of the Rechabites. That completes chapter 2. And this is why this is why I got to do these videos early in the morning because when the day gets started, you'll know what's going to happen. Alright. So There's been some stuff going on today, man. Some stuff. My goodness. All right. The sons of David, chapter 3, verse 1. These were the sons of David born to him in Hebron. The firstborn was Amnon, the son of Ahinoam of Jezreel. The second, Daniel, the son of Abigail of Carmel. The third, Absalom, the son of Maka, daughter of Tamai, king of Jeshur. The fourth, Adonjah, the son of Haggith. The fifth, Shepatai, the son of Abital, and the sixth, Ithurim, by his wife Egla. These six were born to David in Hebron, where he reigned seven years and six months. David reigned in Jerusalem thirty three years, and these were the children born to him there Shamua, Shobab, Nathan, and Solomon. These were these four were by Bathsheba, daughter of Amiel. See, they got these down packed, man. These were families, these these were lineages. They were real that they had like they knew you were the son of this person the daughter of this person and so on and so on verse 6 there was also Ibhar you know I remember uh, Javi Vozala shout out Javi from California uh, brother in Christ we were, we were on the beach walking and you know just having some good fellowship talking about Christ in the gospel and he was the one who told me he's like you see back in the day that's how they would do it that's how they would recognize who you were you know they, they knew your families. They, it was deep. Elishua, Elephahelet, Noga, Nepheg, Japhia, Elishama, Elida, and Elephelet. Nine in all. All these were the sons of David, besides his sons by his concubines, and Tamar was their sister. The kings of Judah. Verse 10. Solomon's son was Rehoboam, Abijah his son, Asa his son, Jehoshaphat his son, Jehoram his son, Ahaziah his son, Joash his son, Amaziah his son, Azariah his son, Jotham his son, Ahaz his son, Hezekiah his son, Manasseh his son, Ammon his son, Josiah his son, the sons of Joshua, or Josiah, Jahanan the firstborn, 
Jehoiakim the second son, Zedekiah the third, Shalom the fourth. Verse 16. The successors of Jehoiakim, Jehoiachin his son, and Zedekiah. The royal line after the exile. Verse 17. The descendants of Jehoiachin the captive. Oh, I got some things highlighted. Shiratil his son, Makarim, Pediah, Shenazar, Jechamiah, Hoshma, and Nedabiah. The sons of Pediah, Zerubbabel, and Shimai. The sons of Zerubbabel, Meshulam, and Hananiah. Shelometh was their sister. Verse 20. There was also five others. Hashubah, Ohel, Berakiah, Hasadiah, and Jushab Hesed. The descendants of Hananiah. Pelatiah, and Jeshiah, and the sons of Raphiah, of Arnon, of Obadiah, and of Shechaniah. The descendants of Shechaniah, Shemaiah, and his sons, Hattush, Egal, Bariah, Neriah, and Shaphat, six in all. Verse 23. The sons of Neriah, Eliaoniah, Hezekiah, and Azikam, three in all. The sons of Eliaoniah, Hodiava, Eliashib, Peliah, Akib, Jahanan, Delilah, and Anai, seven in all. And that completes chapter three. Oh, I, rec I, I highlighted this in, um, when I was at uh, Word of Life in Aurora under Pastor Tim Bagwell, Pastor Adam's dad. All right. Chapter four, other clans of Judah. Verse 1, the descendants of Judah, Perez, Hezron, Carmi, Hur, and Shabal. Reiah, son of Shabal, was the father of Jahath, and Jahath the father of Ahumai and Lohad. These were the clans of the Zerathites. These were the sons of Etam, Jezreel, Ishma, and Idbash. Their sister was named Hazel Elponi. Penu was the father of Gedor, and Ezer the father of Hushai. These were the descendants of Hur, the firstborn of Ephraim, and father of Bethlehem. Verse 5. Ashur, the father of Tekoa, had two wives, Hela and Nara. Nara bore him Ahuzam, Hefer, Timeni, and Hashatari. These were the descendants of Nara, the sons of Hela, Jereth, Zohar, Ethan, and Koz who was the father of Anub and Hazebeba, and all of the clans of Aharel, son of Haram. Verse 9, Jabez was more honorable than his brothers. His mother had named him Jabez, saying, I give birth to him in pain. Jabez cried out to the God of Israel, Oh, that you would bless me and enlarge my territory. Let your hand be with me and keep me from harm so that I will be free from pain. And God granted his request. Caleb, Shohai's brother, was the father of Meher, who was the father of Eshtam. Eshtam was the father of Beth, Rapha, Pasea, and Tehina, the father of Er, Nahash. These were the men of Reka, the sons of Kenaz, Othenio, and Sariah, the sons of Othenio, Hadath, and Meonothai. Verse 14, Meonothai was the father of Oprah, Sariah was the father of Joab, the father of G. Harashim. It was called this because the people were skilled workers. The sons of Caleb, son of Jephune, Eru, Elah, Anam, the son of Elah, Kenaz, the sons of Jehaliel, Zeph, Zephah, Tira, and Asarel, the sons of Ezra. Jether, Merid, Ephor, and Jalon. One of Merid's wives gave birth to Miriam. Jemai and Ishba, the father of 
Eshtemol. Verse 18, parentheses, his wife from the tribe of Judah gave birth to Jer Jerid, the father of Gedor, Hebor, the father of Soko, and Jekunt Dion, the father of Zenoah, parentheses, or close parentheses. These were the children of Pharaoh's daughter, Bethiah, who married, had married. Oh my gosh, come on, don't stop. I don't want notifications, man. It's too much for today. Verse 19, the sons of Hodiah's wife, the sister of Naham, the father of Kaliah, the Garmite, and Eshtemoa, the Makathite, the sons of Shimon, Amnon, Rena, Ben-Hanan, and Tilon, the descendants of Ishe, Zohath, and Ben-Zohath, the sons of Shelah, son of Judah, Ur, the father of Leka, Lida, the father of Maresha, and the clans of the linen workers at Bath Ashbeah, Joachim, the men of Kozabah, and Joash, and Seraph, who ruled in Moab, and Jashabui B. Lehen. Parentheses. These records are from ancient times. Close parentheses. Wow, that's pretty cool. They were the potters who lived at Netayam and Gedera. They stayed there and worked for the king. Simeon, verse 24, the descendants of Simeon, Nemuel, Jamin, Jarib, Zerah, and Shaul. Shalom was Saul's son, Mibsam his son, and Mishma his son. The descendants of Mishma, Hamuel his son, Zakur his son, and Shemai his son. Shimei had sixteen sons and six daughters, but his brothers did not have any children. So their entire clan did not become as numerous as the people of Judah. They lived in Beersheba, Mola, Da, Hazor, Shaul, Belha, Azim, Tolad, Verse 30, Bethuel, Horma, Ziglag, Beth, Makabot, Hazar, Susum, Beth, Berir, and Shiraim. These were their towns until the reign of David. Their surrounding villages were Etam, Ain, Rimon, Token, and Ashan, five towns, and all the villages around these towns as far as Balad. These were their settlements, and they kept a genealogical record. Meshabab, Jamlek, Jasha, son of Amaziah, verse 35, Joel, Jehu, son of Jashabiah, the son of Sariah, the son of Asil, also Eli, Onia, Jacoboh, or Jacobah, Jesh, O Ahiah, Asiah, Adil, Jeshmiel, and Benaniah, and Ziza, son of Shiphai, the son of Elon, the son of Jediah, the son of Zimri, the son of Shemaiah. Verse 38. The men listed above by names were leaders of their clans. Their families increased greatly. And they went to the outskirts of Gedor, to the east of the valley, in search of pasture to the, for their flocks. They found rich, good pasture, and the land was spacious, peaceful, and quiet. Some Hamites had lived there formerly. The men whose names were listed came in the days of Hezekiah, king of Judah. They attacked the Hamites in their dwellings and also the Meunites who were there and completely destroyed them as is evidence to this day. They were settled in their place because they were pasture for their flocks. And they and five hundred of these Simonites, led by Pelatiah, Neriah, Rephiah, and Uziel, sons of Ishi, invaded the hill country of Seir. Verse 43. They killed the remaining Amalekites, Amalekites who had escaped and they have lived there to this day. And that completes chapter 4. That completes our first, uh, well, part 3 of our first hour section. Man, um, it's been rough. It's been rough. We got it done. Got some more later.